Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, I wanted to do a video today because I've been getting asked a lot of questions on where the two valve is. And it's time to come clean and tell you guys what's been going on with the car. So, been having a lot of issues out of the car. Um, turns out the WAP block is only good for right at 700 horsepower. And I made 701 horsepower. Uh, the block split down the middle and the car lost oil pressure and it's it's messed up um, and I really really was apprehensive to do this video because um, there's a lot of people out there that seem to get a little bit of enjoyment out of my failures um, but you know for the sake of the people that do care about what I'm doing and actually do support me guys I wanted to do this video for y'all so uh, we'll go ahead and show you guys the car and show you guys the carnage that's been going on with it. So here we go. Oh look, you see that boy tag? Oh, here it is. And there is absolutely nothing wrong with it. I Man, you guys thought I was serious. Oh man. Now also, guys, there ain't nothing wrong with the car. Um, I've had some small issues lately, but those issues did not include a cracked block so um, I wanted to do this video to just give everyone a recap of what all was done to the car um, like, like I said before I get there though I um, had a couple of small issues with the car that's why y'all haven't seen a video about it in a couple of weeks um, but those issues are fixed now so uh, I took the car out and drove it earlier I wanted to take it out and run it again but um, obviously it's been raining here so this car and rain don't mix so it didn't go out again um, but I do have a lot of new, new subscribers to the channel and probably a lot of people that just need to be recapped on what's done to the car so I'm gonna go through um, the basics of what's done to the car and the parts and stuff that are on it so starting up front here in the front you can see right here at the start it has a big 1300 horsepower Garrett air to air intercooler on it. You can see it peeking out the front bumper right there, the Cobra front bumper. I actually still have to put the inserts back in the bumper. But there it is. Been thinking about maybe putting some speed holes right there to open the airflow up to the bumper a little bit. But yeah, it's the biggest Garrett air-to-air intercooler you can get. It's a five-inch core, five and a half-inch core. It's got cast intakes and all that in end tanks and all that good stuff on it. Got the True Cool Trans Cooler. It's been a trooper. I've had that on the car for forever. Got this uh, Jegs dual pass radiator right here. That's new to the car. Um, had a couple of issues mounting it, but got it mounted up right now. And it's doing a great job cooling the car. There was people that said that with this big intercooler in front of the radiator and the trans cooler that, uh, what's up buddy? Uh, with all that stuff in front of the radiator, it wasn't going to cool the car, but the car cools fine. Moving on right there, it's the big Borg Warner Turbo. It is a billet 80 millimeter. It is a 80 millimeter compressor and a 96 millimeter turbine with a 132 AR. It is a very large turbo for the small displacement engine that I have. It spools very well for the engine that it is uh, attached to. Right here, got custom made intercooler piping by my good friend Sergio at Sergio Fab. Um, got a VS Racing 40 or 44 millimeter blow off valve. Like I said, the intercooler piping is three and a half inch and it goes down into the intercooler. And back up over here uh, to the turbocharger compressor. Starting at the top of the engine, it has a Edelbrock elbow with an AccuFab 90 millimeter throttle body on it. It's forward facing. It has the Edelbrock Victor Junior intake with Edelbrock fuel rails. It has Holly 160 pound per hour injectors with stock. Cops. These are like a hundred plus thousand mile cops that will have right here. It has a PA performance 
alternator with a big three and a half inch pulley. That pulley is a rib. It's for a Cobra. It's the only three and a half inch pulley I could find at the time, so that's what I run. I don't really doesn't really bother me that there's extra two ribs on there. Has a Mazir electric water pump on it, and down there on the front, it has a ATI balancer with an ARP bolt on it. The heads are Trick Flow 44cc heads. They have Manly intake valves and Manly Iconal exhaust valves with modular head shop stage three springs. It has, let me turn this light on. It has four GT followers in it, GT500 exhaust lash adjusters in it. Uh, the head, all the head work was done by Jordan and Modular Head Shop. Uh, if you guys need any kind of head work done on your modular engine, hit up Jordan at Modular Head Shop. That's it for the heads. It has 0304 Cobra head gaskets on it. It has a WAP aluminum block that's bored 10 over with diamond Mod 2K pistons. They are a negative 9.5 cc dish. The the, uh, the effective compression ratio of the engine is, or I should say the static compression ratio of the engine is 10 and a half to 1. Oh, also, uh, the cams are custom cams. They're a 242 intake duration and a 248 exhaust duration. Alright, back to the block. It has Monar power adder rods. It has a Cobra crank that my buddy Alan Evans was uh, very nice to uh, hook me up with. Um, all the machine work on the bottom end was done by Shacklet's machine out of Nashville, Tennessee. Bolted to the engine is a TH400 built by Cameron Powers at CPR Transmissions. It has a lot of billet goodies and stuff like that in it. Um, billet trans brake, uh, able to leave in first or second gear. I can't really get a video of it back there, but you guys can see it has the JW bell housing on it, JW the wheel flex plate, pilot adapter. It has a PTC 9.5 inch converter in it, which works amazing. Moving back from the transmission, it has a it has a PST 3.5 inch chrome molly drive shaft with Spicer 1350 U-joints. It has an 8.8 .8 rear end with Strange 35 spline axles, a Strange spool. 5 8 wheel studs which you guys can see right there it has a 355 rear gear it has team z lower control arms and baseline outlaw relocated upper control arms it has viking double adjustable drag radial valved shocks for the rear and strange single adjustable shocks in the front with a uprk member one thing i did forget that you guys seen is the car does have motor plates it has team z motor plates and a Team Z mid plate hiding back there as you guys can see right there the car is run off of Holly EFI this is the inside it's got a boost leash pulse leash combo uh, precision performance products sh shifter Kirky race seats it's got a Team Z 850 cert roll cage in it a homemade rear seat rear seat delete all that good stuff all the proper safety equipment to go at least 850s which the car's already been it's got the holly dash right there see the bump button got a homemade trans brake button over there works pretty well but yeah that's about it for the car guys um i'm gonna crank it up for y'all and then I'm gonna show you guys the GoPro ride along video. And uh, that'll about be it for this video. So we'll go ahead and start this thing up.